reckon we're going to catch anything on this trip? Yeah. You do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You know why? <laughs> no, I don't. I'll tell you why. Because me hunting dog couldn't catch a hog If you tied it to his tail or pen one in the yard He hasn't got a clue what he's supposed to do He's useless just like you He's useless just like you Arr, arr! The New Zealand fur seal before the arrival of humans, a population of about 2 million inhabited New Zealand. They were taken as food by Maori. The onset of European sealing for meat and belts in the 17 and 1800s pushed them to the brink of extinction. Since their protection in 1978, numbers have increased gradually. Current minimum population estimates are 50 to 60,000, but this is almost certainly an underestimate. As we cruised on down the east coast of the South Island, I started to find myself get a wee bit excited at the prospect of meeting a bloke called Two Dogs. A family man and a real good hunter who over the years has caught a lot of animals and he wastes nothing. Everything gets carried off the hill. Predominantly a meat hunter, because at home he's got lots of hungry mouths to feed. And whatever way our hunting adventure went, I knew I'd come away with it with something new to take home. G'day Friff. G'day, g'day, come on in. I'll take my shoes off first. Okay, good idea, good idea. You don't know where I've been. <laughs> That's our only rule, mate. That's a good rule to have, bud. Yeah. Hang on. G'day, mate. How you doing? Did you get from? Yeah, just a little bit. Hi. Hi. Are we? G'day. Hi, Owie. How are you? I'm Friff. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, this is Owie. Hi. How are you going? And, and this is Jack. Jack, we know Jack. This guy, I don't know. Noah. Is there one more man? Yeah, mate. Yeah, it is. My granddaughter, Aria. Hello. 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 Hello.
Yep. Again, it's nice and here, from the Randy seat, and then the side all round. Come up under that gorse on the other side there. Okay. And go up that little Manuka ridge to the top knob, and then to the paddock, back to the truck. Nice. Young old Joe Edgelington. Yep. When he came to Poanui, his mate Croucher. Yeah. Get out. He um. He's got a knife, same as mine, same as yours. His sword knives, bloody good knives, eh? Yeah. And uh, we were just talking about little tricks and things that you do. Like uh, the edge of it, you mean? Cutting the edge over. That bit of string, man. Oh yeah. He put me onto that. Right. Just to pull your knife straight yeah. out, no loop, yeah. just a bit of string. Yeah. Real good, eh? I'm going to start with this. It's as sharp as I could get it. It's just a, it's just a new one, but it wasn't sharp in the shot. Where you go? Max, get out Max, of it. Max, get out of here. Where you go? Where you go? A little bit of heart for doggies, eh? Look at that. Where's your bit, mate? You have a chew? <laughs> you want to cut that diaphragm first? No, no, put that away. Yeah. Jump up there and stand on its head, so because you can't hold its legs. Well, cut the, the, no, no, I've pulled down a bit. I'm yeah. gonna down a bit. You pulled it out. Yep. Hold up. Should wait. Just want you to hold those. Either hold them with your good arm or stand on that with your foot. When there's two people. Let's reach in here, mate, and uh, get that door thing started. Either side. Seeing something new today. It uh, works pretty good by the looks of it, too. Actually, that's about as that's actually probably faster than a knife. As long as I've cut that ass properly, that is it. Done and dusted. Awesome, mate. Well, how did you do that? That's a new one to me, eh? You didn't stick the knife up at all in the diaphragm. What'd you do there? Um, poke a hole in the diaphragm. Yep. Poke your hand in, get the heart out, give it to your dogs. Yeah. That's the most important. Yeah. And then just rip the esophagus. Yeah. Put your knife away. Reach inside that diaphragm. Yep. And where it joins the rib cage, peel it off. There. And then there. Right. And then grab the diaphragm either side, and that diaphragm's all connected to the guts. Yeah, right. And that pulls it all out nice and clean, like there's nothing in there. I can see that's clean as clean, clean as a whistle. There's no diaphragm left in there. Mm -hmm. You can cut that. Yeah, I was going to cut that, but you know I'm going to cut the heat off yeah, before we right, carry yeah, this yeah. out, so there's yeah. no point. Where'd you learn that trick? Is that something you've worked out yourself, or is that, that's quite different to what most guys are doing, eh? About uh, three years ago, I went for a hunt with Damon. Oh, Damon Earl. Yeah. He does that. And he did that, and I said, like, fuck, show me how you did that. Yeah. I normally dick around, you know, so from here. I'll tell you what, mate, the Damons have it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Good on you, Damon Earl. Oh, it's That's a, a good trick, I'll put this away. No, I need that. We'll, we'll get the heat off. Yeah. Are you going to do that with your teeth or you can use a knife as well? Well, I was just going to pull its heat off, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's see it under his arm. Probably, probably stick it in his lunchbox. <laughs> just leave it now. Yeah. You can, like. Give it a nick in there. Young Drew. He just ties it around here, they don't make any holes at all. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. You just ties it around and comes through the centre and down to there. Oh yeah. There you go. Two okay. loops. Yep. And uh, it works all right too. And like this here, that'll get dirty. But when, when I clean it up, you'll just take another slice right around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean as a whistle, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'll no, leave good. all these on. Yeah, yeah. So that the dirt doesn't get in there. Yeah. Um, fuck. You want a bit of blood running down your ass, what's the world coming to, you know? <laughs> really. It right. happens all the time, mate. In the summertime, you're carrying that pig out, you chuck it on your truck, it's still got the arse in. Yeah. You drive home with the arse in, you hang yeah. it up, you go inside, have a drink, come out, sort the pig She's out. Fucked. Six hours, it's fucked in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you gotta be... If you're gonna catch the pig, you might as well look after it. Bloody oath. Yeah. Right. You okay? Yep. You got everything, got your gloves? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job, mate.